Hello Networkers! I'm proud to announce the release of the second edition of the Network Design Cookbook. It will be available in paperback through various retailers and in PDF directly from our website. You can purchase the PDF version and you will gain access to new updates added to the Design Cookbook. The second edition of the Network Design Cookbook provides a new approach for building a network design by selecting design modules or pods based on the business requirements, engineers' preferences, and recommendations. Networks can be designed and deployed in many different ways. There are hundreds of design pods listed in the design cookbook to show the many different types of networks that can be deployed. For example, let's say that you want to build an internet edge solution for your environment. Well, there are many different types of design pods that you can choose from. Let's first go there and show you what we're talking about. So within the Astro Design Book in the PDF version, I can simply go to the bookmarks here on the left side, and you'll see that our different kind of pods are broken up based on either it is a framework, a solution, or a service. Under frameworks, you will see that we can actually go ahead and build designs for a day center, LAN campus, WAN, or internet. Under solutions, we have many different solutions. Also under different categories like collaboration. Extending this out, you see um, different pods available for voice, messaging, call center, even down to presence and conferencing. There's also particular solutions for computing, which can be either cloud computing or unified computing. There's load balancing, network management, optimization, security, which has a lot of great subpods available from firewalls, even down to mail security and other endpoint security, among others. We also have particular solutions for software defined network, storage and wireless. And under services, we have various pods for NAT, multicast, quality of service, even with routing and with security. So once again, let's say that we want to build a internet edge solution for our environment. Well, you will first go under the bookmarks and that is treated as a framework and we're currently there. So then from there, let's go ahead and collapse this. Let's go down and you'll see a wide variety of internet pods that we can choose from. Whether it is a single router that's connecting directly into the internet, and of course it's being connected into the core switch in the LAN. Or maybe you have a single firewall that will be connecting to the internet. Or perhaps you may have a single router or firewall that is connected between two or more ISPs. Or maybe you may want to have dual routers or dual firewalls connected to a single ISP. This provides many different types of pods that you can actually choose from. For each of the pods, it will provide valuable information such as when you should use this design pod based on requirements or preferences by you, the network engineer. It will provide any prerequisites of other design pods that must be chosen first and completed to be added to the topology. It will provide details of required design pods to additional design pods that we can choose from. It will provide a description, including a diagram picture for how it can be connected within the overall topology and what the design pod looks like. For example, we might have a requirement to use two internet providers because we believe that any outage would occur from the ISP and not from a failed router or firewall. Furthermore, let's say that we also require using a next generation firewall. Therefore, among these available internet pods, we can go ahead and look through the information that we need and that actually will lead us to this section right here of choosing between one of these two pods. And between these two pods, we will go ahead and select this one here, where you will see under when to use, that we should use this if we require using a advanced firewall solution or services, like a next generation firewall IPS URL filtering. And if we require partial high availability with concerns that the ISP is more unreliable than a firewall failure. And that means that we can go ahead and incorporate this within our topology of our design. And you can reference other design pods for data center solutions using either a spine leave topology or maybe a traditional data center topology among other add-ons or security solutions like firewall solutions for how a firewall appliance can be deployed within the topology or even within the LAN or data center itself or maybe security services like virtual private networks and DMVPN that may be added into your topology. Or IP routing services from OSPF to even BGP 
and choosing the available pods that are available and incorporating that within your topologies. Or design pods for virtual routing and forwarding. The design cookbook will also provide configuration practices for the various solutions and services. It will provide a list of required configuration, recommended configuration, to even optional configuration that we can consider for the deployment. Now, before you start using the design cookbook, it is recommended to go through the start here section within the design cookbook to learn about the different sections and the format. I will also provide an example building a network design using the many different design pods available in the design cookbook and producing a topology something like this, where this contains many different pods such as wireless, internet, firewall, even to LAN. You can get more details on our website by going to rodhub.net slash design2.